Days after protesting at the Kaduna Refining and Petrochemical Company over the discharge of a toxic chemical, the people of Kapan community say no intervention so far from the refinery and their health conditions continue to deteriorate. The community chairman says that his tool has now turned greenish. I will not hide for you, even I myself, I am a victim. I cannot, I cannot breathe well. And I stood this morning, not less than two hours ago. The, the, my stood was uh, green. I have the sample with me. This is the sample. This is the sample. I, anywhere I go today, I go with this. The nature of this uh, 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 chemical, it was from, uh, from the uh, plant. It just comes out like a smoke. When it was spreading, Everywhere in in uh, in in 12 hours, we started seeing sign in our crops, not knowing it will even affect us. More people in the community say they are falling sick as a result of the toxic discharge. At the Ministry of Environment, three women from the community were seen lying behind a truck, seriously gasping for air, struggling to survive before they were rushed to the hospital. The toxic chemical released by the Kaduna refinery has significantly harmed livestock, destroyed crops, and negatively impacted human health. Officials from the Kaduna Ministry of Environment, the National Environmental Standards and Regulations Enforcement Agency, and the National Oil Spill Detection and Response Agency visited Kapan community for an on-the-spot assessment of the incident. So immediately we are leaving this place, the team from Ministry of Health will definitely come into this community to, um, to ensure that the health issue is resolved and the necessary action that needs to be taken has, uh, is taken. This I'm giving you the assurance because it is a marching order given by His Excellency the Governor to ensure that nobody is in pain as far as this issue is concerned and the community should adequately be compensated of what really happened. In Kapan community, where green vegetation usually flourishes during the raining season, maize, yam, Soya beans and granuts have all dried up. Environmental authorities have promised to thoroughly investigate the incident, saying the refinery will be punished if found negligent. Now, at the end of the day, if we find out that even though the, uh, the, the facility involves being a regulatory agency, if we now find out based on our findings, your know, necessary things is going to be done. And all the information, all our reports is going to send to our DG. And at the Federal Executive Council meeting, they are going to make a decision. Either to find or whatever they want. The people of Kapan say they have received 100 cartons of milk from the refinery, but claim some were already expired. The Isuchukun Ishakuyari has appealed to the relevant authorities to ensure justice is done and the people of Kapan are fully compensated for their losses. Nisi Gabriel, Arise News, Kaduna.